What's up guys, welcome to East County Garage. I'm here with Kyle, <laughs> and today we're gonna be installing the Mishimoto style CX Racing radiator. Yeah. Well, technically not today. For you today, for us, like Thursday. Today we're gonna be removing. Today we're taking the old one out, and while we're at it, uh, I noticed that my valve cover gasket is leaking, so I'm gonna take the opportunity, while I already have it not running, to replace that and then repaint my valve cover gasket. So let's get started. Alright guys, so we out here at 7-Eleven. Uh, we were just coming back from AutoZone and O'Reilly trying to get a part for Kyle's car. You can see we've been working on his car. And uh, my car started overheating. Yep. And... Cracked radiator. Right. So, now we're going to deal with this. We're good. I kind of want to get like a Mishimoto style eBay one? CX Racing yeah. eBay radiator, but like, I'm also stranded at a 7-Eleven right now. What do you think, Kyle? I don't know, cause like when I, when mine was leaking, I kind of just ran air cooled, and I was fine until I hit red lights. But mine, like we were moving, we were going like 45 or whatever, yeah, and it's and just you, going up yeah, and up and up and up. Ticked. And we're not really near my house. No, you're fucked right now. Um, <laughs> no, you're fucked. We really made it home. We air cooled it. I was just turning it off at all the long stops. Yeah, I mean we didn't really have much. Yeah, I was worried though because originally it, it was it kept going up when we were driving, but this time it seemed to be the normal air cooled, and then at lights I was getting dicked. So we made it. Um, now we got to assess our options. You can definitely smell the coolant. Oh yeah, the more is dripping. Look at that. It got worse. It got worse. All right. Um... So right now I've gotten the. The drain plug out, it's been drained, and we got the upper radiator hose off. We got this fan clip off, and have yet to be able to get this one off. It's just kind of being a pain. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. Nothing too interesting happening yet. Um, and then meanwhile, we're also working on the valve cover, the valve cover gasket. So spark plugs are out, and, and uh, the little hoses on the sides are out. And then Kyle is working on gonna get the uh, bolts out while I do this stupid clip and keep working on the radiator. So, so far so good. I think Dino's gonna come over in a couple minutes and help out and chill with us, so. Could be good, could be good. Chris here. Hey. Kyle's still here. Yeah. That's the car. Valve cover out, paint ready. Ish. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna paint this. Can I paint? No. no, no. Come on, I'm on my car and I'm saying no. Dude, you haven't even spray painted stuff before, have you? Like, Bro, good? I've Dude, I was with you the last time we spray painted and that was terrible on those tables. You did it! You did it too! You we both the did Oh my spot. god. And then on this front over here, we got the lower radiator hose out. And then now. I'm just trying to get this off because like this is kind of in the way. Yeah. Um I think oh. this one just kinda like detail oh wait. Mm. Okay, but anyways, we'll get that off, and then this shit, is it freely Oh yeah, that's definitely yeah. freely you'll moving. You'll see what you'll see what I'm talking about, what I was confused about. And okay. Then, Kyle says it's clear. Yeah, I moved it though. Here you go, here's out. Alright, here you're done. I'm gonna don't move please. I'm gonna get out so you don't drip cool on me. Be careful. Yeah, I am. And there's that cooling bro. Free on this side. Wait. Okay, do you want to take it up? Is it dripping, Michael? No, I don't think it just quickly get it forward. Okay, perfect. Okay. Awesome. Oh, perfect. Alright, no, wait. Lean it, lean it back like this. Can yeah. you do that? Alright, Michael, can you open the. No, just lean it. Just put it on the ground right now. Okay. Like on the. We're at AutoZone. We picked up my uh, gasket, and now Kyle wants an AutoZone hat. I want a Honda hat. <laughs> Honda boys. Oh, Mac. Continuing day two. Yep. Uh, FedEx is here. Kyle's here. Nayada's here. Everything's nice and put back together. Nice. Kyle torqued on. And now we just gotta put the new radiator in. 
get coolant. I'm not sure if it comes with a cap or not, which is why I wanted to wait to buy the coolant. Yep, and we'll find that out. That way I can go on one trip and not worry about it. <sighs> so yeah, how's your day going, Kyle? Good. Good. All right. So here, I'm knocking over final inspection. So we have the stock one. Now we're gonna compare it to the new CX Racing one. So uh, we can throw this one around. We don't really care about that one. So that's pretty thin on the top. It's a lot, a little bit taller, a little bit beefier. That's what everyone sees. The bottom a little bit beefier too. But another side profile of this. As you can see, it stretches all the way across up here. So it's a lot beefier. Let's see if we can get these right next to each other. There we go. Yeah. So you can see the size and thickness. So this will be awesome to see. And also this is just huge on top. Oh, sorry, bottom. This is just huge on top, fat radiator, and then kind of curved plastic OEM. So I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like and see how it performs. All right, so now we are mounting the fans up. It's a really tight fit, but we'll see if it works. So here we go. After much um, encouragement, let's say, let's say a lot of encouragement, <laughs> we got it in. And she looks pretty mean. And Greg just snapchat at me. So what did you have to do, Kai? You had to undo some other bolt and yeah. lots of pulling, lots of pushing. That's a very tight fit. But it fits. And like he, he showed you earlier, the difference in size. So it's not surprising that it's a tight fit. <laughs> While you're down there, do you also want to collect a connect a lower radiator hose? Yeah, I was gonna. Sick. All right, making good progress. Woo! It looks so cool. All right, so a couple hours have passed, mostly because we were just actually it just gets darker. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. We just ran to AutoZone real quick and we back. We might need to buy more coolant. Yeah, we just filled up the we radiator. We just filled up the radiator, so now we gotta turn it on. Don't step on your headphones as you step on your. Headphones. Oh, I didn't realize they fell out. I, I thought you were looking at them earlier, sorry. Yeah. No, I was looking at the coolant. Anyway, anyway, so now we're going to start it. Bleed it. And then, uh, what? Kind of bleed this system. Well, mad it. Mad it, bro. Whoops. Yeah. Anyways, so start it and then romp the heater, right? Yep. Kyle's done this more recently than uh, me, wait, so. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? It's coming out of the um, shit over here. It's, it's dripping out of this. Out of the thermostat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is. It's a 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a 12. Shit. What's up, guys? It is now the next day from when we installed the radiator. Um, it's raining right now, which kind of sucks. I think I've diagnosed our problem. Um, the We had a leak coming. It seemed like it was coming from the bottom of the thermostat housing, which didn't really make sense because there's nothing down there. And we couldn't really see any leaks around the gasket, but I was paying a lot of attention to it. I dried everything. Well, first I hosed out everything and I dried it all off to try and figure out what the problem was. And it does look like there's a small leak coming from the uh, very back of that. So that's most likely the problem. It would make sense for all the steam because, um, I should close this hood because it's raining. It would make sense with all the steam because that's um, after it's already flowed through everything and going back into the radiator, so it's gonna be really hot there. And it was dripping down onto the belts, which it would explain a lot of the problems, and I really don't know what else it could possibly be. So I'm hoping for that. Unfortunately, I do have work today, and like it's still raining, so hopefully I can get it done today. If not, um. All right guys, so I was editing this video right now and realized I never closed it out. Sorry to, uh, for the noise, there's uh, some landscaping going on. Really, I just wanted to show you guys what's up. So the new radiator is in and we got this nicely sealed off. Um, I wound up over torquing this bolt 
and the inside, so I had to get that fixed, but it's fixed. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> There's like some cracking right there, but that's all on the outside. On the inside, the seal is still tight. She's not leaking anything. Um, since the install, I have gone on some canyon drives. Kyle and I went on a really sick drive, and uh, got a little muddy too. It was uh, right after rain, so there was a bunch of dirt and water on the roads, but we had a really great time. This thing did not overheat at all. Steady pace where it's supposed to be. And uh, yeah, the engine bay is looking nice now with that CX Racing radiator. It's really mounted solid in there. Um, everyone runs this thing and never has a problem, so I think I should be good. And we also got our uh, valve cover back on here. So yeah, successful project. Miata's running great. No complaints, and uh, I continue to love this thing. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.